Oh, I am flat out looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to this one. Adam Rank making his predictions for every NFL team's record. This was just uploaded a few days ago. And guess who the last team at the very end of the video is? It is the Tennessee Titans. Adam Rank has been known to not have a lot of faith in the Tennessee Titans. So I am going into this blind. This is Adam Rank's record prediction for the Tennessee Titans as of June 17th, 2024. This ought to be good. And is the new coach for the Tennessee Titans. What does that mean for 2024? Let's take a look. They open up on the road against the Chicago Bears. And I know number one overall picks are owing a million. It doesn't matter. The Bears are not Ugh. losing this game. You lose this game. I'm not even going to sit here and I'm not even going to debate it. You wow. So we're just going for the jugular right off the bat. He just said, I don't care. We already know. We can already see he's going to give the Titans a loss against the Jets as well. He's already saying, I don't care that the, Be the, the Bears have a rookie quarterback. I don't care that that it's it's a new time in Chicago and they got to get used to some things. They ain't losing this game. I don't care. He is he a Bears fan or something? I'm looking in the back. Oh, uh, well, I'll give him this. I'm looking in the background. He's got a some yeah, he's got a Chicago Bears hat. So, but still you're going to let your own personal bias affect how you pick this? will also lose to the Jets in your home opener. That's fine. You're 0 2. However, that's fine. The Titans will end up beating the, the Green Bay Packers. They'll they'll be feeling the fatigue of going to Brazil to open the season. And you will beat the Miami Dolphins what? on Monday night football. I'm sure because the Dolphins will open up with three victories and lose. And that's just the way it goes. I really thought that he was going to have the Titans starting 0 4. Like I mean, when he had us lose it, do you think you think the Titans are going to lose to the Bears, but then beat the Packers and the Dolphins? I don't know why you have a bye in week five, which is way too early. However, choice. you come out of that with a victory over the Colts. Well, this is However, this is where it starts to get real tough. Okay. A loss to the Buffalo Bills. Uh, a loss uh, to the Detroit Lions. However... You will beat the New England Patriots because everybody will be beating the Patriots this oh, season. Boy. Sorry, Patriots, a road trip man. to Los Angeles. I have you losing to the Chargers. However, beating the Minnesota Vikings before losing back-to-back -back road games and losses to the Washington. How are you going to confidently? I mean, in reality, this guy is just throwing darts at the wall. I mean, it's June seventeenth. And he's making predictions for all 32 teams. He can try to give whatever reasoning he wants to. He is just trying to throw stuff at the wall and hope something sticks. Texans to the Commanders before getting home in week 14 and beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. Week 15 playing host to the, to the Cincinnati Bengals. I have the Bengals taking that one. I have the Colts winning in week 16. The Jags winning in week 17. And of oh, course, boy. the Houston Texans. Of course. Taking the finale so in the week 18. Well. Honestly, yeah. all you really want to see out of the Tennessee Titans this year is whether Will Levis can play NFL football or not. Wins and losses to me don't really matter. I know you put all you. What a stupid thing to say. I'm sorry. Wins and losses will always matter. I don't care if you think you're in a rebuild year. I don't care if you think that, you know, um, it's, it's just we got to see if the quarterback can play. Wins and losses will always matter for all 32 teams. Stop telling me they don't matter. If they don't matter, why do we tune into the games? That ticks me off. When I hear analysts on TV saying wins and losses don't matter. Get out of here. Also, kind of annoying to say, maybe they could, like, we got to find out if Will Levis can play NFL football. I mean, this sounds like you're talking about uh, an experimental guy who you took. I mean, it sounds like you're talking about like a guy like Malik Willis. The guy played in half the games last year, did some really good stuff along the way. And, and again, let's go here again. 
why does Will Levis not get the benefit of the doubt, but Anthony Richardson does? What was his record prediction for the other AFC South teams? However, this is where the Colts, eight eight and nine, can't believe it wasn't better. Jags, nine and eight. And then, of course, I mean, he's really got the AFC South underperforming as a whole because he's got the Texans finishing 10 and seven. He's, explain this to me. This is what I'm saying. The guy is pretty much throwing something at the wall and hoping it'll stick. He has them. He has the Texans losing to the Minnesota Vikings in week three. What? Um, I don't know. I, I just, I, I'm not going to get mad at his record prediction for the Titans because a lot of it does hinge on Will Levis. And to some degree, I understand we have to see if Will Levis can be the week in, week out guy. That's the hope. Just like for the Colts, the hope is that Anthony Richardson can be the week in, week out guy for years and years to come. And I understand that is one of the things you're looking for this season if you're the Titans. You're you're watching Will Levis. You want to see where he stands. But it just kind of sounds like, maybe it's because of all the other stuff I've heard about the Titans in the media, to say, well, they got to find out if he can play NFL football. It's like, dude, he's already played NFL football. Like, watch the Falcons game from last year. Watch the Steelers game. Watch the Dolphins game on Monday night, watch some of the games that he played in. I mean, did some good stuff against the Colts, did some good stuff in the first game against the Texans, had some mistakes along the way, but like, I don't know why we're just talking about this guy. Like he's some sort of buffoon who's never stepped on a football field before. Um, also the wins and losses not mattering. I don't know, dude. I, some people buy into that theory, but as a diehard Fan, wins and losses will always matter. It will always matter. Um, so I, I I guess in terms of record, I mean, record predictions are dumb to do at this point. I say that I have my record predictions for the whole AFC South somewhere on the channel. It's dumb to do at this point, but I get we got to get through the summer somehow. And it's an idea for something you can put out there that people can talk about like this. Um, I, I just... I still feel like it's not exactly fair. Like I said, that Will Levis doesn't get the benefit of the doubt and guys like Anthony Richardson and, you know, some Caleb Williams, who's not even taken a snap yet, gets the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. Just not my favorite thing of the world. Honestly, in the years past, Adam has had the Titans like, predicted to go four and 13. I think he had them predicted to go four and 13 the year they were the number one seed in the AFC. So, I mean, the guy's never been too big on Tennessee, but I mean, let's just call it what it is. It's a dude trying to predict the records for all 32 teams and just throwing darts at a dartboard. Let me know what you guys think.